I'll take a bit of getting used to, but I know what's right for you. Take some more out of there, right? You need some more off the stomach, and then, then we're gonna start on the legs. Oh, honey, Letterman says no. What about Emma? Oh, don't worry. We'll get you fighting fit. Jesus, how does somebody let themselves get like this, huh? It's a lack of self-discipline, I suppose. Um, I had two babies. Well, a lot of women do this after they've had children. They just basically let go. Really? God, it's terrifying. On your own 
like I took way too much Xanax I have pubic hair on my head I'm so boring But I act like this on purpose So rebellious teens Can relate to me And even though the song is a huge hit And it great potential I made a hit that is painfully dull I don't care You can tell but I just share my genes And now I'm gonna list of that I think all rich black people love Gold teeth, crystal, and go into the club Oh hell no! You might as well say fried chicken also! Yes, my lyrics seem racist Racist But I don't give a fuck Hip hop culture totally sucks They stop beating each other up But this bit is so awful Awful And we live in poverty Please just kill me Kill me Kill me Kill me Calm down guys, watch some TV Seriously? We don't have fucking cable I love my animals are dead They kill themselves because I am a zombie And everyone who says I'm racist I swear that I'm not I just live with skinheads And now I'm gonna say more random luxurious stuff I hate Running water as a gene in first aid I don't care I'm not getting to this in my dream Even though this song hit number one And I have tons of cash I would rather pretend I need food stamps You fake bitch! Now how the hell am I supposed to eat? All rich people can suck it Suck it I am such a hypocrite Even though now I am loaded I'm gonna act impoverished Play this shit on repeat Repeat God damn it! Cut! That's the fifth pair of guys who have killed themselves before we can finish this boring video. You know what? Screw this! Give me my goddamn crystal and jewelry. I am done. Philippe, call my Maybach driver and arrange the private jet. I'm going to Barbados to clear my head. Get me out of here. Kiss my ass, peasants. Materialistic bitch. Yo guys, thanks for watching my Royals parody. If you want to see the rest of my awesome parodies, click this box right here. Special thanks to Alex, John, Steve-O, and Paige Kennedy for being in this video. Check out their channels right up top. They are off the chain, baby. So the winners of those Versace shades and those stripper high heels usernames are right here. Congratulations! This time we are giving away these boxing gloves from the video. They're pretty off the chain. You can beat someone's ass. All you gotta do for your chance to win is follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description box. But that's not all. We are also giving away these awesome red ones as well. All you gotta do is follow me on Twitter for your chance to win these bad boys. Winners will be announced at the end of my next parody. Guess what? I just started using Vine, so if you wanna follow me on there, just type in Bart Baker. I'm gonna make funny fucked up videos. Yeah, seven seconds. You can get this song on iTunes. The link is right above my head. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, I need some more Xanax so I can turn back into my Lord character. Here you go. Thank you very much. Peace. Yeah. TV.
You're insecure, don't know what for You're turning heads when you walk through the door Don't need makeup to cover up Being the way that you are is enough Everyone else in the room can see it Everyone else but you Baby, you light up my world like nobody else The way that you flip your hair gets me overwhelmed But when you smile at the ground, it ain't hard to tell You don't know, oh, oh You don't know you're beautiful If only you saw what I can see You'll understand why I want you so dead Your hair gets me overwhelmed But when you smile at the ground It ain't hard to tell Love 
come slow and it goes so fast We see you when you fall asleep But never to touch and never to keep Cause you loved her too much and you dive too deep Burning low Only miss the sun when it starts to snow Only know you love her when you let her go Only know you've been high when you're feeling low Only hate the road when you're missing home Only know you love her when you let her go Burning low Only miss the sun when it starts to snow Only know you love her when you let her go Only know you've been high when you're feeling low Only hate the road when you're missing home Only know you love her when you let her go And you let her go Going down, I'm yelling to my You better move, you better dance Let's make a night, you won't remember I'll be the one, you won't forget
one, two, one, two. Okay, we're live. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to apologize for the uh, happening there, the static happening. Uh, we were talking to Rick, and also we want to welcome on the line my governor of entertainment, long time no see, Ray Mello. I mean, welcome to the pro. Uh, welcome to the program, Ray. Uh, we're going to be speaking to him uh, uh, about. Our city radio and um, what he's doing for the the, the station and um, so right now we're talking about uh, we're talking to Nick Larson and we're talking to, once again to about the uh, presidential candidate in 2016 and he is the uh, publicist the, the uh, publicist director and um, ladies and gentlemen once again Nick Larson hello welcome everyone yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I guess that's what you call live radio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, hey, it, wow. it happens. So. Yeah, so uh, let's take part two. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to the Big D Zone News uh, with Prince Big D. Uh, we was uh, getting into um, uh, the presidential campaign in 2016, which is coming up. And so um, now where was we when we last left off? Well, we we were actually talking. Uh, we, we, uh, we we got a, we got off the topic of uh, the campaign, but we were talking about the Affordable Care Act, and uh, I was telling you, uh, you know, before the static happened about uh, you know because you had asked you know why they they are uh, doing this, uh, uh, why they're having the congressional hearings about uh, the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare, and I was. What well, I was telling you before the static happened was uh, in the source code. Uh, there's actually uh, a statement that's hidden from the user. So if you go on the website, you won't be able to see this. Uh, but it actually states that by submitting this, by submitting this form, you give up all uh, privacy rights and or you know all uh, you know. All you know rights to uh, privacy uh, to you know whatever entity you're submitting the form to. Okay. Um. I'm, uh. They, Edward is trying to call in now. I'm uh, hoping that uh, his line is clear. It, it was clear when I was talking with him. Oh uh, yeah, it was his line. I'm gonna. Uh, you know what? It was his line. That's what it was. Edward, it's your phone. Edward, I I uh I muted his phone because it it was his line. Okay. Ours yeah, is I, clear. Your yours is clear. Um, Ray's is clear. It was his uh, it was his line that was clear. Uh, and that that was static. Wow. Uh. So uh, let me try this again because this hit, it was his line. Okay, let me try it again. Ah, oh, it is Edwards. I don't know what's ha ha happening. And it's not my line. It's not your line. It's not a uh, race line. All of our lines is coming in clear. Right. And uh, it was the thing. Well, probably my my line is messed up, but it was not. So, uh, I don't I don't well, have any idea well, what happened. Is, is when I was, t you know, the, you know, during the, you know, between you know, part one, and part two, you know, I was talking with them, and it was it was clear as a bell. Right, and um, when you came when you came on along with Ray, who who's going to join us in uh after your interview, when uh when when Ray come on, Ray was very clear when I talked to him before we started the show back over. So yeah, it was um it was Ed Edward's Skype connection. I don't know something must be happening with Skype line or I don't know what happened. Okay. I, I I I can't explain technology. I'm a broadcaster, but I can't explain technology. <laughs> right, right. I, I hear you. I hear you. I'm just, I'm only an I'm only an entertainer and a broadcaster. <laughs> yeah, I I honestly I, I yeah I wouldn't be couldn't tell you. Me so. Neither. Well, anyway, well if 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 Edward is listening and he's welcome to listen in. Uh, it, it's just that Skype got to be fixed on his end. Everybody else is clear, and um, we'll just leave technology to the pros, okay? So, um, go ahead. What we were saying before we added another call. 
Um, well, yeah, uh, basically, yeah, that, uh, uh, you know, that's why they're having the congressional hearings is because, uh, you know, Congress is, you know, finding out, you know, all of the things, you know, in, uh, in the Affordable Care Act that, you know, they, that are not, that are non-HIPAA compliant. And now if you know anything about HIPAA, uh, Deshaun, it's, you know, HIPAA is the Privacy Act that, you know, states that, you know, uh, clinics, doctors, hospitals, uh, dentists, you know, anyone in the medical profession cannot go out and speak or release any uh, medical information about you without your uh, written consent. And it, it even goes to a point where you know, you have to, uh, you can't just sign a blanket statement, you know, and that's it for the rest of your life. You know, you, you know, every time uh, you release medical records, you have to sign a release or, you know, or release might be good for, you know, uh, a year at, at most or, you know, or however long you want to specify. So here you got the Affordable Care Act that has language written in it that the user can't see that basically is duping the public into, you know, acknowledging about giving away their privacy rights. Wow. Now, um, tell me a little bit more about, um, you know, how, how does your candidate feel? Because some people say that your candidate is not going to get the nomination. Um, some people feel, so, so feel strongly that it's going to be a higher up candidate uh, than John, even though he got this big endorsement. Now, how do you feel about the, the naysayers about John and about him uh, getting the nomination or not? What do you say? Well, well, well here's the thing. I mean, it, it, we're, okay, let, let's look at the Republican side. Okay, and you know, no one really has said concretely that they're running for president, but you know, everyone is assuming. Okay, so yeah, all right, let's look at Ted Cruz. I mean, we we talked about him a little bit already. Mm -hmm. Ineligible. He was born in Canada. He held dual citizenship, and yes, he he you know he he did uh, you know renounce his Canadian citizenship, but it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. In order to be president, you cannot have held any dual citizenship because that, you know, that divides your loyalties. Okay, so he's, you know, he's gone. I mean, okay, really, wait, 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 wait. And, now, and, and, and now, if he runs, John, John Dumay will file a lawsuit stating that he is ineligible. Okay, and, now know, let's take away the, um, let's take away the rule, for example, uh, what's wrong with someone like Ted Cruz, even though he has popularity among the Republican Party? What's wrong with Ted Cruz uh, being able to run? I mean, if they could change the law again uh, for so that Ted Cruz can run, uh, they could do, I mean, they were able to do the same thing for anybody else to run. Why can't they do the same thing for Ted Cruz? No, you see, now that, 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 that's the thing. The, we're, we are talking about the Constitution. This is written in the Constitution, in Article 2 of the Constitution. It clearly states what the specifications for being president are. Now, the American people with Obama, we got, we got had. Okay, we, we had the wool pulled, pulled over our eyes, and we believed it. We believed a photoshopped copy of his birth certificate and believed it to be legit. No one asked any questions. No one examined the document until Sheriff Joe Arpaio and uh, Mike Mike Zeller, I believe his name is, uh, a special investigator, actually investigated it. And you know, before you know, anyone says anything, they actually start the investigation to prove that the birth certificate was legitimate, and they found evidence to the contrary. So. There's no way, I mean, you know, you say change the rules. No, because you're talking about changing the Constitution. And that's the one thing that this nation has gone farther and farther away from is the Constitution. There's a reason we wrote the Constitution. There's a reason why it's the law. The so way. isn't that what some members of Congress are doing now, changing the no. laws of the Constitution? Uh, and isn't that what uh, some people are trying to do? Like, um, especially, for example, term limits. 
Uh, some people want to do away with term limit, uh, even though it is in the Constitution, the president can only run for two years, for example. Uh, well, I'm, used, I'm just using that as an example. Yeah, and that's the 22nd Amendment. And what you're talking about is amending the Constitution. And it, now, if if Congress is going to amend the Constitution, then in order to do so, they have to write up the legislation, and it has to pass by two-thirds majority in both the House and the Senate. Good luck. Wow. Now, now, in order to be a senator or a congressman, yeah, you don't have to be a natural-born citizen. You just have to be a citizen of the United States and have lived in the country for like seven to fourteen years. So, you know, and that, and yeah, and I've actually had people, you know, when I like when they when they say, you know, uh, that they're going for Ted Cruz, and I'll say, well, he's ineligible. You know, it, you know, he was born in Canada. Yeah, he can't he can't be president. And and they and they liter and literally, someone actually said. Well, why not? Obama got away with it. Why can't Cruz, you know, get away with it? Right. And I, I instantly, you know, face palmed and shook my head. It's like, oh my god! And I, and I told him, it's like, really? You want to make the same mistake twice? Wow. Now, uh, I asked before about now uh, what did, did your uh, candidate feel about this because. Um, now, does your candidate uh, always believe that he's going to win no matter what the pundits may say about him? Like, uh, for example, um, Rick saying there is no way that he's going to get the nomination. Uh, he, there's no way that he's going to get it. What do you say about that? I guess. Why? I guess why? Why does he think that he's not going to get the nomination? I mean, that's what I'm thinking. We're, we're having this forum for all candidates to come in, whether it's Democrats, whether it's Republicans, whether it's Independent, to tell their sides of the story, to tell why they should be elected president of the United States. And this is an open forum for all of them to come in and explain their story, you know, so that let the people decide who they want to vote for when they go into that voting booth. Right. Now, or they now, use a machine you, if, now. I don't, you know, I, I don't honestly. I don't know what he's saying, or I, I, I'm not looking at the chat room or anything like that. But uh, yeah, if he's going to bring up campaign contributions or you know whatever, hey, you know what? We can raise just as much money as Ted Cruz or Rand Paul can. Mm -hmm. You know, granted, yeah, they do. They have the popularity. Yeah, sure, they have the popularity. Right. But you know, they they also have they also have items that go against them go against them uh, like Rand Paul for instance he's a career politician and he's a flip-flopper I mean he actually voted for the NDAA in 2012 okay yeah granted he, he had a 13-hour filibuster great wonderful you did your job honestly I you know and this is what we're telling the American people is do you really want a career politician in office again? That you know politics as usual, or do you want someone that is an American, an American citizen, that is just like you and me, you know, middle class, that has felt the pinch of the economy, that has lived paycheck to paycheck. I mean, he's living paycheck to paycheck right now, and you know, so he understands what this economy is doing to the American people. The, and the and didn't he say that he's also disabled as well? Then he said that um the other night. Yeah, he uh, he has a bum knee. Uh, he he actually has an artificial knee. So yeah, he is disabled in that in that aspect. Right, and uh, wasn't one of the presidents in history was disabled? Now, uh, correct me with, uh, if I'm wrong. Uh, it was either um, one of the Roosevelts that was the one that uh, disabled, or uh, Frank, uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Roosevelt, FDR uh, was. Um, uh, had polio. Yes, so he had polio. He was disabled, and and he was the president. So why can't we have someone who is disabled to uh, be able to run for president? What's wrong with that? There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Now the the only thing that is stopping that that is stopping John DeMay for to be becoming president is the American people. Mm -hmm. And now what I mean about that is. You know, people getting out there and voting because 
you know, in the last election, only 25% of those that are registered to vote actually went out and voted. So do you really want 25% of the people to decide the fate of the nation for you? Well, at least as a reporter, this is not me to decide, but um, uh, this is for my audience and the audience in the news station to decide because this is actually uh, their choice. Uh, this is why we're having forums such as this. Uh, to let them know, hey, you have a voice. So uh, they're the ones that are going to go into the voting booth. They're the one that's going to decide uh, between uh, John and uh, or, or Chris Christie or uh, or a um, or a Democratic candidate. I don't want to say the name because I know you get a best, uh, uh, upset. Oh, you but can go I, ahead and say it. Hillary Clinton. I right, know. Hillary Clinton or even uh, or even another prominent uh, Democrat. But anyway. Uh, or it could be another independent that may be running. So uh, my thing is, there is nothing wrong with a disabled Republican, a disabled Democrat, a disabled independent from running. You know, that that if that's an American dream that they have, go for it. That's why we have platforms such as this. Exactly. And, uh, you know, yeah, and the, th the thing is, is, you know, I'm sick of career politicians. Honestly, I am. I, I you know, the, the, the notion that of, you know, politics as usual, uh-uh. Yeah, throw that to, to the wayside because career politicians will tell you what you want to hear so, you, so they can get your vote. John tells you what you need to hear. He tells you the truth. He tells you how it is, whether you like it or not. And, and I like that. I like that straightforward. That you know, being blunt. That you know, that uh, that bluntness that he has. I don't even know if that's a word, but you know, <laughs> uh, you know that, that that straightforwardness that he has, and you know, telling it how it actually is. And you know, we need to get the people behind him. I mean, because. He, you know, you, you look at, okay, look at Rand Paul, you look at Ted Cruz, you look at Chris Christie, like I said, they're all career politicians, mm -hmm. and career politicians only ha have one thing in mind, and that's lining their pocketbooks with backdoor deals or, or anything like that, mm -hmm. and every politician is guilty of it, it's just whether or not they've been caught or not. All right. Right, and, and and there's fights on all sides of the aisle, both sides. Whether, like you just said, whether it's Democrat, whether it's Republican. I mean, we've seen that. We've seen it happen during the government shutdown, during this whole budget debate over Obamacare. We've seen it happen. It's both sides. It doesn't matter whose side you're on. It's on both sides. Both sides are doing it. Exactly, and yeah, and so you know, for you know, we don't even know if Ted Cruz and and Rand Paul and Chris Christie are going to run. I mean, Christie just won uh, the governor, you know, the governorship in New Jersey. Correct. Uh, you know, Correct. It last just you know a uh, couple days ago. Mm -hmm. So, for all we know, he might not even run. Or you know, Ted Cruz might not run. Or Rand Paul might not run. You know, we don't know who's going to run right now. It's just it's John. just guessing. But I'm telling, I can tell you. With 100% certainty that John DeMay Jr. is running. Correct. That's why. That's why we're having you on the show, and that's why I listened to the other show that other night that you had him, and I called him with questions like I did. I wish I could have had the tape. I could have played it, but maybe I could have. Maybe I'll play it during the best of. Uh, hoping the uh, the uh, uh, sound would come out better, but um, I wanted to play that as a best of show. Um, uh, the questions that I have, but I'm also going to have him on December 14th. So. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, yeah, I, I, you know, and it, let, now let's just say you know he he does get through the the Republican uh, nomination and he gets the nomination for uh, for the RNC. Uh, and he go, let's say he goes against uh, Hillary Clinton. Well, you know, because I know uh, Rick is asked, you know, well, what's he going to do if he goes up against Hillary? One word, Benghazi. Wow. <laughs> That's all we have to say, Benghazi. Yeah, you know, and people are, and, people know, are still trying to get you know, to the Hillary bottom Clinton of it. Has been, you know, uh, 
I mean, she's been corrupt more than than any of them. But you know, with Goldman Sachs, you know, Ted Cruz's wife uh, actually has relatives that work for Goldman Sachs. So, I mean, look, you can already see the corruption. Mm -hmm. Okay, now how do you feel about a uh, woman like um, Sarah Palin? Uh, do you think that she had clout in the Republican Party? <laughs> uh, Sarah Palin, okay. Granted, she ha she has great views. Okay, uh, I, you know she has great views. Um, I don't think she's presidential material, uh, especially since she gave up the governor's governorship in Alaska. And, and really, you know, if you're going to give up office, it's either for two reasons: one, because you're sick for illness or you know illness or injury whatever and you cannot perform the, your duties any longer or two uh, to avoid scandal but she just all of a sudden gave up and resigned i i don't want a president that will just get you know re, you know when the when it gets tough or you know when something happens they just resign mm -hmm. and, and and grant and, and i didn't like her foreign policy either Oh yeah, I, I have a great foreign policy. Russia's in my backyard. Really? Wow. Really? So, and she's a Republican. They, 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 they. Wow. wow. Amazing. Amazing. Very very interesting view. Well, I would like to thank you, the resistance, for coming on to the program, and uh, and congratulations for the big endorsement. I know your campaign camp is thrilled, and uh, please come back again for any updates. Uh, if you want to call in, you're more than welcome to call in uh, with any updates and any endorsement that uh, that John received. Now, uh, plug the website for uh, John's campaign. And tell them how they could reach uh, John's Facebook and John's t uh, Twitter and also any other website that me he might have in the future. Okay. Um, well, uh, you know, his Facebook page is uh, facebook.com slash Dumay2016. Uh, Dumay is spelled D-U-M-M-E-T-T. Uh, again, it's facebook.com slash Dumay2016. Uh, his Twitter handle is at John with a capital J. Dumay with a capital D, Junior with a capital J, and uh, the the website will be up uh, w within uh, a week, I, I would say, and uh, I believe the the URL the URL is going to be uh, Dumay2016.com. All right, thank you so very much, and um, you could you could definitely get ready to go to those websites. And uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to uh, add those websites to a uh, site that I'm going to be devoting to any candidate that come on the program, whether it be Republican, whether it be uh, Democrat, and whether it be um, Independent. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call you back uh, when I get that uh, part of the website ready uh, so we could talk about it. All right. Sounds great. All right, so uh, what we're going to do, thank you, Nick Larson, for coming on to the program. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to, oh, okay. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come right back, and uh, we're going to come back with Ray Mello, and uh, he's going to talk about what he do, and we're also going to share with him about his show, The Throwback on Speaker. This is the Big D Zone and the Big D Zone News. We'll be right back. Hello my friends, this is Ernie from WEJA Radio. I encourage you all to come over and have a listen to Exact FM Radio on Monday, November 11th, 2013. That's Veterans Day at 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time for a special tribute to all the veterans of the U.S. Armed Forces. We salute you, thank God for you, God bless you, and God bless America. Again, tune in at 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time on Monday, November 11th on Exact FM Radio with your show host, Deshaun Porter. Again, tune in. I'll be there. Thank you, and we'll see you then. You want news. You want the story that affects you. Then go to Exact FM Radio News. You want the news 24 hours a day? Go to ExactFMRadioNews.Webly.com. That's a that FM radio news dot com. 
bringing you the story and coming in on breaking news every day with hosts such as Prince Big D on the Big D Don't News and Andrew Bond. It's time for the news. It's all on the That That Fan Radio News. You want the news? We got it. You want interesting stories? We got it. It's a That That Fan Radio News. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back on the Big D Zone News. Not only on um a That That Fan Radio News, but also on WBDR, uh, which is heard on Stitcher and also get ready to be heard on TuneIn. Oh, wait a minute. We've seen the lost contact with uh, Ray Mello. Hold on. Let me see if I could get him. Uh, something happened. Uh, Ray just cut off. I was getting ready to get the introduction. Ray, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, you got cut off. I was just getting ready to get your intro. Let me try the intro again. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this has been a long time, no see. But ladies and gentlemen, he is still the governor of entertainment. We started uh, when we was on uh, Going Beyond Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, the governor of entertainment, Ray Mello. Welcome back to Big D Country. Long time, no see. Thank you very much, it's a, it's a pleasure to be on your show, uh, one of a thousand shows you have. Exactly, exactly. Uh, now you're on uh, two stations and more to be coming on. Uh, so uh, tell me, uh, catch up. I mean, what are you doing? What you've been doing since uh, we last left? Uh, uh, you know, after that uh, crazy outage that knocked us off for a couple months. And um, so what's been going on? I know you had this show, The Throwback, and uh, what's been going on since then? Well, um, a lot has changed, uh, both, uh, professionally and, and personally. Um, about, a, uh, about almost a month and a half ago, I, I had my second son. So, uh, uh, he's almost a month and a half old. I'm, uh, really happy and, and blessed to, uh, to have my second boy. That's one reason why I was kind of like with in action because I was spending time taking care of of uh, my my, uh, my baby boy and uh, he's doing good and uh, you know so and um, no uh, I'm still doing the throwback um, uh, uh, we've been off, I've been off uh, doing the show for almost two weeks uh, I'm going back uh, to do a brand new episode um, probably next week and uh, we're probably going to be um, I don't know what the theme is just yet, but um, the great thing about doing the throwback is uh, lately I, uh, I've been doing uh, themes uh, dedicated to uh, different themes, and I play uh, club bangers or classic hip-hop songs that relate to that theme, and uh, um, lately I've been paying homage to either, you know, uh, great hip-hop artists and, and producers and all that. Um, the last show that we did, we paid homage to 50 Cent and played all of his songs, uh, uh, not only his songs, but collaborations that he did with um, other artists and, and all that, so it was a pretty good show, and um, uh, we're nearly reaching uh, 2,000 listeners, and we've just been on the air since uh, May, so it's been it's been uh, quite an amazing thing uh, to see that every day, every week, the show is growing and growing and growing, so I appreciate everybody that listening, uh, everybody and listening to the uh, throwback um, since day one, you know. So. Well, I have also been uh, promoting your throwback even when, when you wasn't doing uh, Big D Zone uh, because, you know, you're still the governor of entertainment and I've been uh, plugging your shows off and on. And also, and I want to say congratulations to you and your family and uh, welcoming your new baby, newest edition. And, um, and also, tell us about your new endeavor that you're also in with Our City Radio. I hear that's getting ready to be huge. Yeah, our um, radio is um, uh, when I heard about it, I I I, uh, I said to myself, well, let me give it a shot because I did have some sort of I did have experience on the radio, you know, because of SBK Live and and whatnot, and and I said, you know what? <laughs> Excuse me. Let me just go ahead and see where this takes me and all that. So. 
um, I, I, what I did was I, the first thing that I did was fill out the, yep, the, uh, the information on the website, and I, and I had to go through certain training for uh, the on-air personality. Now, the, uh, the urban the urban channel was already taken. Mm -hmm. They wanted me to do the dance, um, the dance channel, the, uh, the dance station. Right. And uh, I was heavily keen, uh, I was heavily keen on doing the uh, urban station. At first, I was kind of disappointed because I wanted to do that. But then um, uh, the person that they already hired uh, not called back for uh, the second training, which was a, which is a requirement. So uh, Dwayne called me back and said, "Hey, how would you like to be the uh, urban personality?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure. That's what I wanted to do in the first place, anyway." So um, that's how I got involved with Our City Radio. And the great thing about doing the uh, the outfit out um, Our City Radio is that we uh, I promote uh, independent artists, local artists, uh, and bands. Uh, who are in the genre of R&B and soul music, and also the great thing about doing the show is I get the opportunity to um, do interviews with them, and also do interviews with um, business, local business, mom and pop shop kind of business, just to put their name out there. And for me, in my humble opinion, I think that our city radio is the best representation of promoting. Um, that's, that's out there in Orlando when it comes to the local music scene, in my opinion. And uh, it, I, I, I truly believe it's going to blow. Uh, it's going to blow as a, as a, as a major uh, internet online uh, radio phenomenon. Um, you know, uh, the other thing is it's fit in commission. You know, so um, I know that. You know, Soon, uh, I'll be rewarded with uh, all the hard work that I've been putting uh, to making the station. Of, of, of me personally being a an asset to the to the, uh, the station. So that's how I believe. You know, that's how I feel about it. So. Cool, cool. Now, um, you when you did the big D zone on uh on the uh going beyond radio, uh, you did the entertainment report. And you're are you continuing the uh, entertainment report on um, the throwback and also our city radio? Or are you just doing the uh, entertainment report on the throwback? I'm doing the uh, I'm doing the entertainment report on the throwback only, which uh, the only that I have are doing our city radio because I really want to share some of the major stories going on in entertainment, like nationally and internationally. But uh, the thing is. Uh, Orlando, our city radio, uh, our, excuse me, our city radio is only promoting, uh, you know, uh, local artists and everything. So the thing is, um, I wanted to do that, but they said, no, uh, if you want to do that, uh, share some entertainment stories going on. Well, so the difference between uh, doing the show, uh, uh, doing uh, our city radio, and doing the throwback is, is the fact that um, with our city, I only share what's going on locally in Florida, and especially in the Orlando area, events and all that. Whereas the throwback, I just share about everything. Uh, anything that's going on in pop culture, music, uh, nationally and internationally, you know. And, and that's the difference between um, <clears throat> how I do it. And then, uh, of course, with the throwback, I'm live, just like just like you, Deshaun. Mm -hmm. um, with the uh, with uh, I, I find the our city radio gig is pretty easy because I pre-record my stuff and it's played throughout the entire week. So um, I basically record what's going to happen uh, over the weekend uh, uh, as far as events are concerned and whatnot. And then um, with the interviews. Um, which, which used to be set up by um, my boy Dwayne Hobner, but um, he he got a he got from us a uh, uh, he got from us to uh, another position, and um, what he would do what he would do is he would line up these interviews for me to do with these independent artists, and we do conference calls, and that's how we would conduct uh, an interview. It was almost like three way, you know, in a way, and uh, Dwayne was the one that would record it and. I would do my thing, and then his job was to edit it and and basically um, put the show, uh, put the interview in rotation.
presentation for everybody to hear. So, oh. That's, uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, now tell us uh, who did you interview uh, other artists that you interviewed uh, during your reign as uh, uh, a DJ over at Our City Radio? Oh man, uh, let me see. Uh, one of my best interviews happened to be uh, with Angel Rivera from SBK Live. I heard that. That was congratulations. That was good. Yeah, um, I, all I did was ask him, and he said, absolutely, let me know what day, and uh, we just, it was it was a great interview because we got, you know, I haven't seen him in almost a year. Uh, it was the last time we spoke was the night that um, the duo, who are now uh, disbanded, I, I, I'm sorry to say, uh, we did uh, uh, the last thing that for the show before it got canned from uh, because of uh, budget cuts and everything. And yeah. I started talking to him about, you know, what's going on with him. And, 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 and you know, I, I didn't want the interview to be just about, oh, so what's going on? You know, what, what's going on with you guys? How you doing? You know, I just kept it professional and just started at, uh, talking to him about his life and how he got um, involved with radio and, and whatnot, you know, and... Um, and, and I just, uh, honestly, I just got to the honest truth and just asked him about how he felt about the, uh, the cancellation of the show. And, um, and it dawned to me, like, you know, uh, honestly, uh, I feel, in my opinion, that uh, they're probably the happiest right now doing the podcasting than, the, than how they were when they were on the air because it was, um, uh, according to Angel, um, the... The people from the, uh, the, the big office uh, did not realize how special of a relationship um, Soul Brother Kevin, Kevin Boy, and Angel had with each other, the, the, the uh, connection. And now they realize after, you know, the show was canceled because of uh, the, uh, the fact that uh, Kevin is with the monsters and sometimes Angel uh, substitutes for one of the monsters. Uh, Monsters in the morning. I'm real ready. One four point one. They they hear the uh, you know the uh, the connection whenever he's on, mm -hmm. and they're like, wow, that's amazing. And uh, I didn't I didn't uh, I didn't realize you guys were like that. And they're like, well, we were on the air for about five years, and now you realize the connection and chemistry that we have. You know, so um, you know it, politics in a way. You know, but that was one of my favorite interviews. And then of course my second favorite um, is. Um, a lady that I'm happy to say that I'm going to be working with musically. Mm -hmm. uh, her name is um, she's an international singer um, by the name of Frida Chabra. Um, she was one of my favorite interviews because this lady has done a lot, um, and she's famous in, in Canada. But um, her she wants to be um, successful here in America, and uh, she um, travels from time to time from Toronto and Orlando. Um, back and forth, back and forth, and she was my one of my favorite interviews because <clears throat> she, she she has a great great background, you know, working with Disney, um, recording stuff, uh, recording her uh, original music, and uh, work, uh, opening up for um, acts like uh, Jay Sean, Median Russell Peters, and even meeting um, Wayne Gretzky uh, to do uh, an event. And uh, <coughs> shout out to her if she's listening. And she also has sung the national anthem at, at the any uh, few Orlando Magic games at the Amway. So oh wow, oh wow. The th uh, I love her very much, you know. And um, we, um, I, I asked Dwayne, like, listen, you know, like, can, I, I know she's gonna say no, but uh, because she's like uh, established, and I'm like kind of there. Uh, would you ask her if, if she would like to be interested in, in making in playing music? Because you know? at this point, you know, I, after the duo's breakup, um, I, I didn't tell you about that, right? Uh, no, I don't think you have. No. <coughs> well, anyway, um, after after uh, I, I asked Dwayne, like, you ask her, and out of the blue, she just said absolutely. And we just we had a business meeting last week. And uh, her husband, who happens to be her manager, um, said, "Hey, tell me what you got." And I, I, I told, I told him about my aspirations and uh, 
of what I did with the radio and with the duo and all that. And um, all of a sudden, we did like an impromptu um, jam session where I, I actually learned one of her songs, and I just got the chords and all that. And one of the um, this guy, and we we uh, we had our meeting over at Starbucks. You know, anything musical, you, you know, Starbucks. And one of our uh, and uh, this guy drives with his wife. And he notices my my ovations could talk, and he and he was like, "Hey, uh, I want to ask you a question." And I'm like, uh, "I was about to like run away because you know he was a stranger. I didn't know who, who he was." And so I, um, I he's like, "Hey, are you uh, are you a musician?" And I'm like, "Yeah, how long have you been playing?" And I'm like, "I've been playing for a long time." And um, he's like, how, "How would you like to play for my wedding?" And I'm like. Um, I'm like, uh, okay, and he's like, how much do you charge? And and and, and he looked at Frida. He's like, hey, uh, do you sing? And he's like, uh, yeah, I sing. Are you guys in a band? And uh, we're like, well, actually, we're having a business meeting. And uh, but um, and then he started talking to us like, oh, we want to hire you guys to, to play at a wedding, and this is how much we'll give we'll give you. And uh, my my uh, my daughter's having her graduation, blah blah, and we want to play and all that. And um, that was the first time I kind of lied. Um, by, by, uh, I, I was supposed to lie because he asked, uh, have you, uh, have you ever charged anybody and, uh, what would you charge somebody? And, uh, and, uh, I should have said, oh, we'll, we'll charge them, uh, this amount of money. But I, I, you know, I, I have to learn not to be too humble, you know, but, um, right off the bat, we, I, I started playing one of her songs, um, he got me and, um, she was blown away by the fact that I actually knew one of her songs on the guitar, and and it's all about preparation. And we're we're gonna start rehearsing next Saturday, and I'm looking I'm looking forward to that because uh, step one is just to learn songs and then do open mic and then go from there and see what happens. But um, I'm happy to work with her and all that. So. Cool. Now uh, I have a question for you. I am getting a request. Now I have done a now. Um, this is this is pretty amazing that the growth that the Big D Zone is having, and I have been doing shows for Static FM. Now they're not pro yet, so I have to go on that uh, speaker. Now I hope they don't cut off on us. Uh, but would you mind going on an interview over at, in the UK? Uh, the travel in the UK? <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> no, no, no. We could we could go there in a few minutes. Uh, what I had to do is I had to log off of um. I have to log off of uh, uh, Sam Broadcaster because they're not on Pro. See, the only time that I could use Sam Broadcaster is with a Pro account. And my account and the news account is the only one that have Pro. But they only have a 30-minute show. And I would like to not only continue the interview, but start the interview over there, over at Static FM. And they really like my show. Uh, I, am, I am very honored that some of these stations are liking the show. His name, the owner's name is James Gunn, and he's the Static FM owner, and he's not only on my chat, but then all of a sudden, uh, 102.7, the variety has jumped on, and they want me to be a broadcaster as well, and I am really stunned. I am really stunned about this. I mean, I don't know what to say. I'll, I'll do uh, an international interview. I, I, I don't have anything else to do right now, you know, so... Uh, okay. That, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. I, I have no problem with that whatsoever. All right, so that definitely we're gonna do that in a few minutes. Right after I end the interview over here at WBDR, <laughs> and it's time for the news. I am just so ecstatic about the Big D Zone, um, getting this much, uh, this much uh, hype, and um, I want to thank God for this. The glory goes to God because He gave me this gift. If it wasn't for God, you know, He didn't have to give me the gift of radio. He could have gave me something else, but He gave me radio as something that I could do and the gift the interview and um uh, now look what happening and then i'm acknowledging the right person i'm acknowledging god and as well as team you know if you acknowledge first all the blessings will come to you and now look what happened now look what happened so i want to thank everybody for listening to the big d zone if you want to join us on static fm in the uk uh follow static fm uh, more stations to come and i will announce them when i come on don't forget next week memorial day Ernie Abbott, WNEGA Radio, will be joining us on the Big D Zone News. 
Uh, we're doing a special Memorial Day tribute and also uh, FSW Wrestling in your ear 24-7 will be on Friday and also Darcy will be on Wednesday. We are busy next week with guests. We are so excited here. Uh, and so tune in, keep it locked on the Big D Zone for all the information. Go to www.wbdr, uh, bigdcountry.com. And do you have a website that you would like to uh, promote before we out on this side? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you can follow, uh, you can follow me um, on Facebook and Twitter, uh, facebook.com slash official Ray Mello. That's R A Y M E L O. And on Twitter at official Ray Mello. Mm -hmm. And um, that's about it. I mean, and also, I mean, uh, you can check the throwback, um, breaker.com slash users slash the throwback. And uh, we also have a Facebook page and Twitter page. Uh, Facebook.com slash the throwback show and on Twitter at the throwback underscore. All right, I'm going to do some acting over here. So, you want to join me in some acting? Uh, yeah, what's going on? Okay, well, we're going to jump in the plane and get ready to go over to the AK. We're going to go to Static FM on their side. And, uh, wow, we got a long way to go before we go to Static FM. And Ray Mello is going to join me over on the other side on the Big D Zone. So, this is, remember, the news is what you make of it. We are out of here. Remember, this is not the case. Everyone is the Thunder Radio UK Thunder's Halloween Contest The scariest around No, dude, seriously, come on It's not very scary, is it? Well, yeah, it is, kind of Is the round. Mr. So make sure you tune in the night bombastic before Halloween. Fantastic lover. <laughs> 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 fantastic. Put me on me box. She says I'm Mr. Roll. Roll. Thunder Radio UK. This is Thunder Radio UK, the UK's number one best hit music station. We're now at the top, and just to let you know that... So if you want us to keep going, all you've got to do is listen, and if you want to become a DJ, all you've got to do is email me, tyler at hyphenthunderradio.uk You know I'm not one